Hi, this is Rochelle at Scrapcraftastic, and I'm here to work in a few of my planners and answer some questions that I've had in comments through the week. This is just a variety of different planner related things. I wanted to take a little break from Junk Journal July. If you've been enjoying those Junk Journal July videos, let me know in the comments below. I would love to bring Junk Journal videos to this channel, but I've noticed in the past that they are not received very well. So I just wanna see if anything has changed in what type of content you would like to see. I'll probably always do some type of planner content, but I would love to get more into junk journal and DIY craft videos. So, and the planner stuff is kind of DIY craft for me. So anyway, I got a few questions about the smart fee planners. So I'm going to attempt to answer that. This is the personal rings. I have not done anything with it. I will probably start using this for August. Right now I'm using my DIY rings. I just took this out with me for the first time, but I'm using my DIY rings in this Moterm B6 uh, notebook. So this notebook was actually for a Stalogy. I used it for my Stalogy in the beginning, and then I added rings to turn it into personal rings. So this is what it's looking like. I did a short showing how to do it. So one of the questions that I received when I posted the Moterm dupe video about the smart fee planner was if you took the rings out of this, would a HP mini fit in it? And just looking at this the way it is now, I'm gonna say no. Usually if you could fit an HP mini in a planner cover, it would just be able to slide this back cover into one of the pockets and as you can see here there is no way that that is sliding in there this is considerably larger than the pocket it's pretty much the same size as the notebook so no that is not going to work and this is an hp mini it's an old one i did not pay 19.99 for it <laughs> so but yeah it is a true HP mini, so it will not fit. That question is answered. The other question I think was what size it was. Um, I'm just going to, I, I'm assuming they meant what the overall size is. So I'm just going to measure the whole thing. And it looks to be. 11 and a quarter, maybe slightly larger, but 11 and a quarter by seven and a half. So 11 and a quarter by seven and a half is the size of the cover. Okay. And several people have given me the ring size. I think that's what they're trying to tell me. These are not 19 millimeter rings. I know I saw a comment saying something about that. I don't think so. Um, yeah, these are not 19 mil on this one. Maybe they meant the pocket. I don't know. As I mentioned in my uh, strings to rings or rings to strings video, um, I don't really get into ring sizes. It doesn't matter that much to me. It, it really doesn't. I'm not hung up on that. So yeah, I just, I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I think that is everything for the personal. I'm going to put it back in the box until next month. And then we'll be back with that one. And I do want to set up the pocket. So I'm going to take the inserts out. Not sure that I'll actually be using these inserts, but we shall see. So the smart fee planner does come with its own inserts these don't look like they were quite cut right i don't know if i want to use them i'm gonna put them in i'll probably just use them as note paper anyway instead of as a weekly since they aren't cut quite right not sure if i'll use the dailies either 
but I'm just going to go ahead and put them in the planner since they came with the planner. Finally take the packaging off. And I think I'll put that back in the box just in case I want to use it again. All right, so let's pop these in. Initially, I was going to move into this for my uh, pocket daily. That's what I plan on using this for, a little daily list. But I think I'm going to just go ahead and move everything over here. So I like this color scheme with this. That works, works out great. Um... I was trying not to keep opening and closing, but I'm going to start with tab divider in the front just to protect, even though we have the fly leaf. And these tabs um, I cut on the Dollar Tree cutting mat. I'm pretty sure I used the Cricut to cut them. Not sure if you can see what they look like, but yeah, so I can use them over and over again. You can actually put labels on them and the labels will peel off when you need them to peel off. So that's great too. You could color code them with washi tape or little dots, however you want to use them. I should probably, let's put a couple of dividers in the front area I don't think I want to put that in here I'm gonna put this one I'm not gonna put that one or that one and then I'll put this one um, just organizing things and then this one. Oh, I don't have anything in the back though. That's upside down. That's better. So I do need to cut a small one. I need to pull off these little pieces that are hanging on. All right, so I'm going to probably cut a couple of pieces to act as page lifts in the front and the back of this. And let's see if I can get these little pieces of plastic off. That's the beginnings of the setup for that. I do like that paper with this. And these are called pink, but none of these are really actually pink. So these look more like a salmon color. Someone mentioned that, and I forgot to mention it in the video. It is not a true pink. It's more of a salmon-y color. Um, this is not, the mo term is not a true pink. This Ollie clip is a blush pink from Ollie Clip <laughs> or Ollie, whatever it's called. So if you look here, I think this is more of a true pink. So you can see the comparison in color. Okay, so that doesn't bother me either. It's pink enough for me, close enough. <laughs> so let me put these back in here. Okay. And I'll probably, if I ever do like collage uh, pocket size pages, I think I'll put them in the clear binder and then use this for my daily to-do list. Okay, so that is done. Then I accidentally printed <laughs> these vertical um, perpetual calendars, year-to-glance calendars on 
vellum because I forgot I had it in the machine in my printer. So let's see, these are upside down. I printed the pocket size. I don't want to waste it. Um, so maybe I'll go ahead and trim it down and put it in here. It's so teeny tiny. It's can barely, I can barely see it, but I don't want to waste it. So let's go on and trim it down and put it in. And I'm going to do the same with the personal ring size. It's not going to hurt anything. And then if I don't use it, oh, well, but, and I can use these scrap pieces around it for something else probably. So I'm just lining up the cut lines with the blade groove in the paper trimmer. And I'm not going all the way to the edge. I'm just going through the cut line so that I can keep all of my cut lines intact. If I cut it off all the way to the edge, then at some point I'm not gonna have a cut line to guide me doing it this way. See, you keep all your cut lines intact. So, this a little trick. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and punch holes in this if I remember where. I put my hole punch. Okay, so let's go ahead and punch this. I do have this adjustable punch. I'm pretty sure I got this on eBay years ago. And I always try to check just to make sure because it is kind of old and sometimes it doesn't click in the place into place properly. So yeah, and I've even put my own little marks on here so that I know where to line things up because it does have some markings guide marks but they don't always work for what I'm punching okay so let's put this behind there so you can't even really see that it's kind of pointless Let's try it here. That's better. So if I needed to use it, it is there. It is not really a calendar. It's more of a tracker. Someone asked me in the comments about how to use it. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it. Let me go ahead and cut some down. I printed quite a few for my personal rings. I'll hold off on trimming that one this is not that important but I printed a bunch of these so I think I can cut two at a time this is 32 pound paper my favorite and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to use them okay If I didn't mention it, these are available to patrons, all levels of patrons. It is a digital and I included a few sizes that are not usually included in the perks. Let's do a little quick update on my ring planner. This is what it's looking like. I did, I guess I need to do a video on this again. So I'll do that in my next video. Uh, about the personal rings, I think. Dashboard from Coco's Vision. I have an ongoing to-do list that I haven't been looking at. I showed this in the previous video. My list of collections that I would like to have in this planner and my color coding for the sections that each of these will go in. I haven't worked on it at all. Um, what is this? Some things I need to add. To my list I haven't put anything in the card holder so all of this is basically the same this is the flip out calendar which I'll probably use this for some type of tracking um, vellum from a printable that was in my shop I did kind of decorate up this June calendar and did a little color coding with the dot markers also if you didn't know um, Michael's 
has dot markers now. They're new. I went to buy them yesterday while I was out and they hadn't put them on the shelf yet. There were boxes all over the store. So it looks like finally they have some stock coming in. The guy told me that I was going to go back and check today, but he told me they probably wouldn't have them on the shelf today either. So I may just order them online and do a curbside pickup or something when I have time. But yeah, if you're interested in those dot markers, they do have their own brand now. So, and you get five or six in the pack, I think for $9.99. Hopefully I can get a coupon or something or something will be available by the time I'm ready to purchase. Okay, here's July color coding. Got a few little notes here. Instead of using just the plain monthly like I did here and filling it out, I used the one that had the flag in the background for the 4th of July, July. But both of these are available to patrons for printables. And this is what the June calendar looks like without being filled in. So it's very simple, clean. You can do whatever you want with it. And then these are some note pages. I think I, I think I gave the wrong shop for these the last time. I'm pretty sure I got these from So Much Crafting. So more of that vellum. That was a digital from my shop. Here is my audiobook list for 2022. I just did it on grid paper. Very simple. Filled out everything that I have listened to. And I'm only adding them after I've completed the book. So I have like so many books that are ongoing <laughs> i haven't been listening like this week very much but yeah so i'm pretty sure this section will fill up here i'm going to put information about my vacuum cleaner the belts the filters the vacuum cleaner names so that I, when i get ready to order replacement parts i don't have to go look at the vacuum cleaner and figure out what brand it is i'm going to fill all that in same thing for my uh, ac filter i'm going to add the size here and for the air purifier filters so all that information i'm just getting ready to put it in this is a to buy list for the kitchen things i want for the kitchen and i put a tab on some of these i, I still need to work out my tabbing system but i'm trying to tab what i can what makes sense for now um this is the beginning of orders that I've placed. So I'll have a section for that just on grid paper. I don't really want fancy inserts for anything. Um, I want to keep it as simple as possible because I feel like if I use grid or dot grid paper, I can set the page up any way that I want. And even if you don't have any quote unquote artistic ability, or if you think you don't, you probably do, but you just think you don't, you can just use washi tape or a sticker or a highlighter or a Tombow marker and decorate your page however you want. I like, I prefer doing it that way because I don't feel like I'm locked into whatever that insert says that I need to fill in that space. Okay, so I'm gonna just go through these real quick. These pages are my doctors or imaging or blood work. As you can see, there is a lot going on here. So all of this, I sat down and filled in the doctor's name, specialty, address, or the imaging or lab name, address, phone number. I have all of that here so that I don't have to do a Google search every time I need to call somewhere, which I was doing. And I do have the body book still, but I haven't been using it. I haven't been tracking any symptoms or anything like that. I think I'm gonna do this for a while and see how it goes. And that brings me to how I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm probably all over the place, sorry. But that brings me into how I'm gonna be using this perpetual calendar tracker year at a glance. I wanna keep track of the medications that I take. So I'm gonna have a page for every medicine when I start taking it or started taking it, when I stopped taking it, and then maybe on the back, I can write down any other notes that I have for it. But I want one page for each medication. So because I just started a new one yesterday and I, I just want to keep track of when I'm taking all of this stuff. I, I really don't like taking 
all this medicine. So I just want to keep track of when I start, when I stop, because sometimes they ask and half the time I don't know. So that's what I'm using these for. And I'll be just marking every day that I take it. Um, sometimes I don't take everything every day. That includes vitamins and supplements, things like that. I want to keep track of it. And I thought this was a cool way to track it. Now I could also just make a tracker with the grid paper or the dot grid paper. The only problem is I couldn't get the whole month on here because there's not 30, 31 squares. So this was my next best option, I think. And then I can just take the dot marker and mark it off for each day, even though it's teeny tiny. I can I, I can see it well enough. So I'm going to add those in here. Vellum that I showed you before. Birthdays wish list. I did go through and add some random stickers here and there. I haven't used the shop pages. Um, again with the tabs. Some notes about things I need to take care of. This is starting the list of foods that Suki likes. Suki is my cat. The oldest cat. And she's very picky. So when it was difficult to find her cat food that she liked, I had to supplement with other cat foods. But she doesn't like all of them. And some she wouldn't even touch. So I'm starting to keep a list. She likes Fancy Feast. Some of them. So I'm trying to make a list of the ones that she eats most of some of them she'll eat part and not eat the rest but i want to make sure she eats all of them so i've started a list here of food suki likes i don't have to worry about luna she eats everything um, so and then here i did my quarter three and four planner lineup and what i'm putting in each planner and we may go through that another time. These little note pages that someone sent me in Happy Mail have come in really handy. Um, here I'm putting down movies that I want to see. So I have that Ticket to Paradise movie with George Clooney and Julia Roberts comes out in October. And so does Hocus Pocus 2. I'm really excited about Hocus Pocus 2. Can't wait for that. Then I'm going to buy myself Downton Abbey A New Era on Amazon. So I wrote it down so I don't forget to do that. And let's see. Those are blank, blank, blank. Retail therapy. I haven't done anything with. I still need to move those shops back here. And let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Nothing else has changed. I did add the June insert in here. That is available to patron elites. I don't think I did anything in the beginning. I decorated and wrote in the last week of the month. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this. If I'm going to have weeklies. I just kind of printed it. Just testing it out. This is July. I just decorated with a little piece of washi tape that I had in my washi wallet. And I went through and decorated the monthly now what i do think i want to do is use little icons on every day of the month that represent what happened that month maybe i don't know then this is this week i used a sampler i don't remember who the sampler was from but i used a sampler to fill this out and again i'm not sure that i even want to do weeklies in here but i'm testing it out to see how i like it so that is that i still have all of this here to deal with i want to figure out how to incorporate photos in but that's it that's how i'm using it so far let's put this yearly in here i'm gonna put it in the front for now and then i'll come back and decide later those are in i need to work on my divider system for this but this is where i am i just wanted to share that with you and again how i'm using that vertical perpetual calendar i'm going to put the name of the medication up top and then for each day that i take it i am going to use the dot marker and mark it off 
and that's how one way I can use it. I could use this as an exercise tracker every day that I exercise a no sugar tracker every day that I have no sugar. Um, you can use it to track your social media, what days you post videos or PR. You can use it any way you want any type of tracking. I think that it is suited best for tracking. It is available to all levels of patron. August inserts will be coming out around the 10th. So make sure you check for those. Those are for patron elites. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you may be interested in these other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.